Hey guys, Charlotte here. And wow, this lighting is really crappy. And that's what happens when you procrastinate all day long to make a video. But anyway, this is going to be a little bit of a haul. Um, I have a bunch of library books that I got today, and then a few books that I've gotten over time. And... I just haven't made a video of and I'm sorry I haven't been making videos lately. I've been trying to think of ideas of what to do because most of my videos are just reviews and I know that I should probably mix it up a lot or a little more so I mean if you have any ideas or suggestions please comment below and I'm moving my hand a lot. But yeah, oh god what am I doing? I don't even know. Okay, let's start with the library books. The first one I got is The Agency, and it's A Spy in the House by Wyas Lee. It's about a girl who, I'm, she's a thief, I was gonna say orphan, that's why, um, and she's a thief and she gets sent to this um, boarding school, but it, the boarding school is a cover for, for a secret agency that trains female investigators, and I really suck at saying synopsises and shortening them. I would read the whole thing, but of course that's too hard for me. And then the next one I got is the the statistical stat statistical statistical probability of love at first sight. And it's about two people who meet in the airport on a flight to London. They fall in love, and it's a it's the book is set over 24 hours, and what happens to them? <clears throat> And then this one is actually for younger teens, but I don't care because it looks really cool and I love it. I love the idea of it. And it's Cordially Uninvited. And do I even say all these titles right? Is that how you pronounce Cordially? I know that I get... In my family, everyone's annoyed by how I pronounce things. I thought Pontius Pilate was Pilate. And I don't even know how that came up. Um... I'm getting really off topic, but this is about a girl who her sister is getting married to a British prince. Yes. And, um, the Prince of England and how this other girl is trying to come between, um, her sister and the prince and how this girl, the 11 year old sister, is dealing with that and also dealing with the fact that her sister is marrying a prince. And the last one is the Jessica Rules the Dark Side. It's kind of dark because of the light issue. And, um, it's the second one in the Jessica Rules the Dark Side series. And Kim gave me the first book, so I'll link her below. It's a vampire book. And it's about how she's finally gotten with the guy, and then the guy gets taken away from her. And, yeah. I, this, this series is a guilty pleasure of mine. It's not a literature genius, but it's really addicting. So, the next four I've got, or uh, I've bought in over time, one of them I don't know if I've actually said it in a video before, but yeah, I'll do that one first. It's Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly, and I read A Northern Light, and it was one of my favorite books for a long time, and it still is even though I haven't read it, or read it, or reread it lately, but um, I think she's a really good author, and I really like her books. It's about two girls in different time periods, but how the modern one from our times gets a jur finds a journal or is in Paris and um, she finds a diary and the things ha start happening. So yeah, if you've watched my videos even before this, you know that I suck at doing the synopsis, and I'm sorry about that. Okay, this one is Shooting Stars by Alison Rushby. Oh, I haven't been saying any of the authors, have I? Um, but this one I've been looking really forward to. It's a girl who, she's a teenager and she's a paparazzi. And um, she's really good at it. But she has to take on a undercover assignment to, the hot to take pictures of the hottest teen star. And then she starts feeling like more than just he's a prop in her career stuff like that. It's it's it sounds really cute. I've heard of a lot of good reviews of it. So, I'm excited for that one. And then this one is Fixing Delilah by Sarah Ockler and she wrote 20 Boy Summer, which I loved so much. Um honestly, if you haven't checked out 20 Boy Summer, I would recommend reading that one too because I love that. 
it is more than just a romance and she, Sarah Ochler, is really good at writing. It's about another summer and it's about friendships, unexpected romance, and moments that test the complex bonds between mothers and daughters. Also, there's like tape in the middle and it's like shiny and I think it's really cool because it pops up from the page and it looks like real tape. Okay, the last one is Cleopatra Confesses by Carolyn Mayer. But it's told in her point of view, so I think that's really cool. Yeah. So now you know that I totally fail at making videos. But please put suggestions for stuff I should make. I'm going to do a book shelf tour, but like, I'm going to try to do a bookshelf tour, but the thing is I don't even organize my bookshelf at all, so it would just be like pointing the books out that I own, you know? Um, they're not in any order. But yeah, so I'm gonna be reading a lot. I actually have a five day weekend for Easter break because um, I go to a Catholic school and that's a Catholic school advantage, I guess. And then I have, I only have 12 days of school in April because then I have the April break and yeah. So aka I'm going to be reading a lot and I, mean, just, I just had to do the pushing up glasses thing. I do that so much. If you have glasses, do you ever find yourself like out in public going like this all the time? Because I do that so much in public but I never do it when I'm alone or I'm at home. Or I feel like I'm a lot more wary in public because I can't see my peripheral when I'm wearing my glasses. Like, I have contacts that I normally wear, but yeah. Because, like, I can't see any of this. I am blind. See you taking them off? I, I can't even see my outline in the camera anymore. I just see a blackish blob because of the bad lighting. Thanks, guys, for watching.